This is Earth. The year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. Where's that dreadful noise coming from? Ah, Marla. Did General Smith give you some documents for me? Yes, Colonel. Well, where are they? I have forgotten to bring them. I thought the Venusians never forgot anything. It is this buzzing noise. I cannot concentrate. I wonder if it's caused by one of our video screens. Special delivery for Colonel Rayburn from General Smith. Ah, my papers. Uh, just a moment, Mac. Can you hear a strange noise? I cannot hear anything, but everyone is asking me the same question. So, it isn't just in this office. No, sir. The whole of headquarters is affected, and it is upsetting everyone except the robots. Why is that? We are on a different frequency from human beings. The French president wishes to talk to you urgently. Put her on the screen. I have the most terrible news. The Mona Lisa has been stolen from the Louvre. You've got the wrong office, Madam President. My job is to please space, not Earth. But I think the theft comes from space. Have you any proof? Yes. For 48 hours, there has been a strange noise. And you mean you're hearing it in Europe, too? Yes. It is so bad, no one can concentrate on their work, and the guards at the Louvre were unable to prevent the robbery. If the thieves come from space, we'll track them down for you. I'll call you when I've got some news. Reports of this noise are coming in from all over the world, Colonel. It is upsetting everybody's work. I'm going to see General Smith. Sounds as if an alien force is trying to take over Earth. Why do you want so many clocks here? It's part of an experiment I'm working on. I'm having a meeting with General Smith, Professor, and I want you to come along. I've no time for meetings. I'm working. Sorry, Professor, but you must attend. Ah, the cheek of it. Telling me what to do. When Rayburn's in that mood, it's best to obey him. Ah, fiddle-faddle. I'm about to put me time machine to the test. A time machine? So that's why we've had all these clocks here. What does this machine do? I believe creatures in other galaxies see time in a different way from us. Time is time. Time is relative, me child. Now, I'm working on a machine that'll make us move very fast indeed. And that will make time seem longer. What's the point in making people do things faster? If children could learn more quickly, they'd be able to leave school earlier. That would be wonderful. Whoever's wearing this watch will be able to do in one minute what would normally take them 60 minutes. Impossible. It's true. Try it for yourself. Can I try later? I've got to tidy these benches, and it'll take me at least an hour. If you wore me time watch, you'd be finished in one minute. You're choking. I'll prove it. Uh, let me put this on you. There. I'll set it for 60 seconds and switch on. It worked. She's moving so fast, though I can't see her. Uh, now I, I'll watch the time. Ha! Ah, how strange to see the whole place getting tidier and not be able to see Cassie doing it. <laughs> oh, but I can hear her talking. <laughs> oh, it's no good talking to me, Cassie. Everything you do is speed it up 60 times. <laughs> and your words are so fast, I can't understand them. There. I finished. And it only took you a minute. It's sensational. Me time machine works. You've less sense of time than a tortoise. You're holding up my meeting, Professor. But my machine... Tell me about it on the way. One minute to do an hour's work. Amazing. Your watch sounds interesting. You should take it to the Ministry of Education. If you can cut school days from 15 years down to a couple of months, 
Every child in the world will bless you. Me time watch has other uses too. Maybe, but right now, I can't think about anything except this noise. What noise? Everyone in Europe and America has heard it. And you don't even know what I'm talking about? I felt a low frequency vibration these past few weeks, but uh, I've been too busy to bother about it. A low frequency vibration. So that's why it feels as if it's coming from inside our heads. Wait till I tell General Smith. And that ends the latest news report from the Solar Television Network. This is disastrous. Colonel, there have been more thefts. Where from? The British Museum and the American Museum of Antiquities. What was stolen? Sculptures, paintings, and an ancient manuscript handwritten by Agatha Christie. I'm convinced there's a tie between the theft and this confounded noise we've been hearing. Excuse the interruption, General, but radio control reports an unidentified spaceship leaving Earth. Tell them to keep track of it on the sonar beam. I have already instructed them. Don't you forget anything? If I did, you would fire me. Unidentified ship heading towards Jupiter. Unidentified ship approaching the satellite Callisto. So the ship comes from Callisto. That's where Terra lives. Isn't he a Venusian millionaire? Yes. He owns all the gold mines on Callisto. <laughs> you like my newest possession? Exquisite. Your palace is more beautiful than any museum in the galaxy. I have the greatest art treasures in the world in my own home, and I will never give them up. See who wants me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Earth is calling you, my lord. I will speak to them. Good day to you, Colonel. To what do I owe the pleasure of your call? I'm checking on a spaceship that returned to your satellite a little while ago. It was one of my fleet. I wish to question the crew about some stolen art treasures. There is no need to question them. The treasures are in my palace. You admit it? Certainly. I am very proud of the way I managed to get them. Do you wish to know how I did it? I certainly do. Continual noise stops people from thinking. And the noise you heard on Earth was caused by a waffleator that was let down from my spaceship. A witchelator? <laughs> a waffleator, Colonel. It stirs up the atmosphere and produces low frequency vibrations. When I decided to take something from the Louvre, one of my space fleet hovered above Paris and set the waffleator in motion. The guards at the museum went to pieces in a matter of hours, and the Mona Lisa was mine. Very ingenious. But it's time you stopped your little joke and returned everything. I have no intention of returning anything. Then we'll come and fetch them. No one can enter my palace without permission. Who does Tara think he is? You cannot argue with him, and you cannot use force in case you destroy the works of art. What in space can I do then? Where's Larry? His galosphere is just landing. leave coming up. I can hardly believe it. Will Larry Dart report to Colonel Rayburn when he's through contamination control? Oh, I spoke too soon. I fear we will be sent on another mission. At this rate, I'll never get home to Mars. 
I don't see how I can make Tara return the things he stole. I've got to try, or we'll have all the crooks in the galaxy thinking they can do as they like. Well, isn't there any way you can make him change his mind? No. I've thought about it so much that I can't think anymore. What you need is a little relaxation. Professor Haggerty's giving a party this evening to show us his new invention. Why not come along? Oh, good idea. I will. I still don't believe this time machine of yours really works. It might be a good idea if you tried it for yourself. <laughs> Keep your hair on, Professor. Oh, what little you've got left. But I'll try this watch of yours. First, you must decide what you want to do while you're wearing it. I'll go for a ride around the city in a monobile. Some fresh air will do me good. Very well. I'll set the watch to work for 30 seconds. There. <laughs> Peculiar. Everybody's standing as still as statues. I suppose it's because I'm moving so fast. Well, I'd better go for that drive. Oh, I must say it's pleasant driving. I haven't been able to relax like this for months. Oh, well, my time's nearly up. I'd better be getting back. The 30 seconds are over, and here comes the Colonel now. This time machine of yours is a miracle. I thought I was away a half an hour, yet it was only 30 seconds. I'm sure we'll be able to use this in Space Patrol sometime. Uh, there's no time like the present. What do you mean? Well, I've been reading up about this man, Tara. And I've learned that he leaves his palace once a day to inspect his gold mines. Very interesting, but I don't see... Once a day, at 12 o'clock sharp, the palace doors are opened for two minutes to allow Tara to walk through. What can you do in two minutes? Plenty. If I wear Haggerty's watch, two minutes of Tara's time will be two hours for me. That should give me plenty of time to crate the art treasures and get them back to the Gallosphere. What a brilliant idea. Get the watch and take off for Callisto at once. Husky? Orbital speed zero to 20,000 miles an hour. Speed maintained. Scan of you are working. Check. Astro beam working. Check. Gamma rays on. Yoba rays on. All in order, Captain. I'm ready. Thanks. Gallosphere to central control. Ready for final check. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. How does Earth look, Husky? Like a big green melon. And it makes me feel hungry. We've got to go into the freezer now. I'm setting automatic time control to operate for 21 days. If an emergency arises, please use your Zergon ray to switch off our time control. Message received and noted. Come on, boys. Time control's on. Dart should be out of the freezer by now. Should I call him? No. He knows what to do without my telling him.
Galisto's on the scanner. Change to orbital drive, Slim. I want to approach Callisto from the other side. I don't want Terra to see us land. I can't understand why anyone would want to steal pictures. The Mona Lisa's nice to look at, but I'd much rather eat a Martian sausage. Change to primary drive, Slim. Primary drive, on. Prepare for landing. I wish you would let me help you. I can't. There's only one time watch. What's your plan? I'll hide near the palace, and as soon as the doors open and Tara walks out, I'll walk in. Have you got the trolley and crates? They're in the corridor. Good luck, Captain. It is almost noon, my lord. We must inspect the gold mines. Give the order to open the doors. My lord Tara is leaving the palace. Open the doors. If my information is right, the doors will be open for two minutes. I'll set the watch for the same time. That'll give me a chance to get into the palace and out again before the doors close. Funny to think I'm moving so fast they can't see me. And they're moving so slowly to my eyes, they're practically standing still. What a place. It's like a museum. Twenty seconds of Dart's time has gone. I hope he remembers to keep looking at his watch. Pity Husky couldn't help me. These weigh a ton. One minute gone. Dart should have everything packed by now. Well, that's the lot. I don't think I've missed anything. Hmm. I'd better hurry. I've cut it too fine. I'll never make it. Am I pleased they can't see me? Ten seconds to go. I can see a blur in front of my eyes. That isn't a blur, it's Dart. He's just come in. If you're talking to us, Captain, you must take off the watch. You're speeded up so much, your voice is coming out like a blip. I forgot you weren't in the same time dimension as me. Did you get the paintings and sculptures? Yes, they're in the observation cabin. We must take off at once. Galosphere doing on my satellite. Boost the Meeson power, Slim. Once Tara finds out what happened, he'll send some of his boys after us. He would not dare to harm us. I'm not so sure. Meeson power on. Everything's gone. I'm sure they're in the Galosphere, but I can't understand how it was done. Order rocket missiles to be fired immediately. If I can't have those treasures, no one else will. Fire rocket missiles? away from the palace two minutes. How did they do it? Why didn't I see them? Earth is calling, my lord. Put them on. Well, Tara, the things you stole are on their way back to Earth. How did you do it? With a time watch. 
They have never heard of it. Well, you have now. And the paintings and sculptures are ours again. They will never arrive on Earth. You won't be able to stop them. Your spacecraft can't catch up with a gallosphere. I know, but my rocket missiles can. We'll see about that. Get dark, will you? It's urgent. What's wrong, sir? Tower has got missiles on your tail. They should be on you in about 60 seconds. We've no anti-missiles available. What can we do? Boost your speed as high as you can. I know the type of missiles Tara is using, and if they don't reach their target in a certain length of time, they blow themselves up. Good. We'll make sure we're not in their range. You heard what Rayburn said. Boost the Meeson power. If we boost it anymore, we'll blow up. If we don't boost it, we'll be blown up by something else. Do as I say. Anything on the scanner? There are the missiles now. They're coming straight at us. Nothing more we can do. Our only hope is that they don't reach us in time. up any second. Good work, Dart. For a moment, you had me worried. You weren't as worried as I was. Now, what about that leave you owe us? We've two months due, you know. Haggerty's making you a present of three time watches. So I'm only going to give you one day's leave. But if you wear the watches, it'll be the same as having 60 days. <laughs> what a sense of humor.